should just introduce us wherever we go. Yeah. Uh, thank you, that was very kind. Yeah. Of you. Uh, Will you tell my wife that? <laughs> uh, speaking of wives, guess who? Uh, guess who's coming on the show sometimes? <laughs> Awesome. Is that a coincidence? <laughs> after the car or after the sewing machine? After the car. After Gosh. the car. After the Jensen car. Yeah, the Jensen Interceptor. Hi guys, who's uh, the first time? <laughs> Welcome to our uh, crazy family. How's it been? Awesome. Uh, and y'all, uh, not only if it's your first time, but it was also the first time for everybody to meet uh, Alexander. So. Yeah. We've had a rough time. And, and, uh, Keep the hazing going as we have for, uh, for what, the five months? Yeah. How did he do? Was he, he did really great. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to lie. He did. He did. He told us about the computer. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, it's, it's all, they told him. Uh, I told him he pop. we got to pop his con cherry, is what I told him. Yes. Yeah. yes. He was not happy. <laughs> How did he react to that? Yeah, he said like everyone was being super appropriate and then just someone came out and said oh, that. We, well, on set we certainly were not being appropriate. We were being kind to him. We, we were, yeah. I don't think we were unkind necessarily. We were just like, oh yeah, no we were. That's <laughs> like, but like the, getting from from the start. Yeah. yeah. There were a lot of times where we'd be, we'd be messing with him so badly that he couldn't hold it. <laughs> Yeah. And he was like, I'm never going to work for this network again. Like, this is going to go to yeah. the bosses. Yeah. And be like, yeah. who's this guy? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. I like your, yeah. I like your energy. Yeah. <laughs> How old is Jensen? Hi! How old are you? 22 in February. This wow. many? February what? 16. Very cool. You're a very <laughs> smart, almost two-year-old. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, let's start. I'm gonna pick first, so I'm gonna, I'm, that was a fast hand. Yes. Um, I'm from Houston, so I just want to thank you for everything you did for Harvey. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah I hope. Well, thank y'all. We just gotta put the yeah, word sure. out, and, you know. Well, you, guys were the, you guys were oh, the people that made that. Okay. My grandma passed away last year, and. My mom had to deal with all of her houses, and um, a couple of the houses got damaged, but they're being repaired right now. Sorry. Good. Yeah, good. Good. And I want to also ask you, um, how do you think Danielle and Misha are going to team up together to get you guys, or...? <laughs> That's a good question. I think Misha's, uh, uh, he's, uh... <laughs> He's trying to pretend like there's going to be some sort of a coalition against us that the deal is going to help like run, but no, she's just, she's, she's trickier than that. She's going to lure everybody in and then just run the show. That's, I think that's going to help. I think Misha might be bright enough to also realize that she's not going to be there every time he's there. No. So if he teams up with anybody against us, then when he's alone, it's just easy prey. I mean, it's easy prey anyway. For so. two old folks like, old like us, uh, he has easy prey. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sure. All right. Um, well, in honor of the Tombstone episode, I was wondering what your favorite westerns are. Uh, Tombstone and Stark. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Favorite western. Um, hmm. If we're going old school, I have to say Once Upon a Time in the West. Uh, if we're going kind of a modern, uh, I really like Silverado. Oh, I love Silverado. Yeah, yeah. I love Rio I Bravo like, too. I think that's probably the only time Kevin Costner didn't play Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> Not only yeah. because Costner, I, I was a yeah. fan of his movies, but yeah. you know, he, he just yeah. kind of plays himself. But yeah. in Silverado, he literally was playing one of the like, most yeah. fun characters I've ever seen yeah. in play. So. That was his first movie role, too. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I'll kind of echo that. Uh, my dad was a big fan of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. As a matter of fact, this was, long, this was when I was five years old, six, seven, eight, nine, and we went to a restaurant and he had to put his name down. There was no reason for like, yeah. someone can't know my name is Gerald Padalecki, but he, uh, he always said Bill Carson, uh, who was The Ugly. <laughs> 
I don't know why he used a pseudonym. He was an accountant. Was an accountant. <clears throat> Bill Carson? All right, uh, but the one that I've watched more than me. He knew his son was going to be famous. I guess, yeah. He was like getting me used to uh, yeah. I probably watched Tombstone more than the other Western. Yeah. yeah. Can't go wrong with Kurt Russell, so. Oh, my God. Come on. Yeah, and Val Kilmer. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with the sign, just so you can relax your shoulders. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Um, there, there are episodes with uh, very intense emotional scenes that I'm sure would need time to work your way back from. Uh, Jensen, what preparation did you do before or need to do after while filming the episode Baby, knowing that three other basic strangers were going to be driving her? <laughs> did that episode take a bigger emotional toll on you? <laughs> or is there a different episode that took the biggest yeah. emotional toll on you? Jared, so I'm still working through that? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, I, I mean, I, I get, like my shoulders go up when he gets in the driver's seat, so, um, and rightfully so. Um, so when, when, yeah, when, when people that have never even been on the show, guest stars, get to drive, remember when, <laughs> We was that in. the baby when she pulls out and <clears throat> who was that? Yeah. Uh, when uh, Courtney was supposed to pull out. Was that baby? Three other people. No, no, no. No, no, no that, was, wasn't baby. Yeah, that wasn't baby. Um, what was no, the, the episode where we pull up and, and uh, we have the ballet? Yes. Yes. Yes, that was baby. That was in baby, right? Yeah. yeah. That, so that was the, literally having to hand the keys over <laughs> to somebody and let them get in the car and drive away. I, that was not me. That was Jensen going like, oh. Oh, come on. No, 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 don't do Okay, all right, that was it. Took that, took, took that turn a little close, didn't you? I was, like, seriously, there was some, like, there was also something a real, about... There was also a legitimate Jensen reaction when Courtney and Misha are in the car and she locks the doors and just drives away, right? Because we had done the part of the scene where Courtney is walking away, and she's walking away, and we kind of stay there before she drives away. Um, and then it was sort of like a pickup, and like, okay, now we're resetting the cameras. And it was just, and she's, you know, there in the car, and it's, it's 40 feet away. You can't really see off the glare of the windshield. And the car action, and uh, like this full stunt move, like blasting right by us. And yeah, it's like a lot it was more. Full, like, like, I mean, they were spinning out, spinning oh, yeah. tires, kicking rocks. It's a lot more dramatic was... as a person than it looks on screen. Like, it's a big, it's like a rhino. Just, and she, and Jensen looks at me, he's like, what does she think she's doing? I was like, what do you mean? I was like, that's the stunt driver. Like, and Courtney's clothing, so it was actually. I thought it was Courtney. I was about to have some words. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't see that they put in, like, like yeah, unless you are a stunt performer, nobody drives her like that. Yeah. But this one. Yeah. 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 It was one of the four uh, unionized Very stunt Very protective drivers. was that. Yeah, and Jared, do you have an episode that took uh, the largest emotional toll on you? Oh, God. Uh, uh, probably one of your episodes, one of the episodes where you had to be somebody else, like play a different... Yeah, those were difficult. Playing a different version of, say, like a Gavriel or a Solus or... Those are the ones that kind of get in your head the most. Oh, yeah. Probably the end of whatever season was where Sam had to kind of kill Hell Sam and, and uh, uh, Solus Sam. He had to, Encounter because you're doing both sides of it. What was the one where you were in the, 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 the mirror? That was Swan Song. Yeah. Talking to Lucifer. That was the whole Swan Song was tough. That one took the soul. Um, yeah. yeah a, the emotional you. scenes, though, like what you're thinking, like where, you know, where we just <laughs> we get emotional. Uh, <laughs> those are tough to come back from. <laughs> I didn't want to say cry. <laughs> but I did, friends. so there you go. Um, those are, those are tough to come back from in the moment, but something that you have to live in, you know, day after day, which is these kind of episodes where you're playing something different, really, you have to think about something in a different context or from a different point of view. Those are the ones that kind of keep you up at night or, you know, make you exhausted by the end. Yeah, and when you have a, when we have, more often than not, if we have a super emotional scene, we'll request to film it at the beginning of the day to get out of the way because if you shot like stunt scenes for eight, nine, ten hours and then it's like, okay, and now here's your monologue where you talk about torturing people in hell or whatever it is. You're like, I don't, 
I don't know if I have that in me right now. I'm exhausted, you know. Um, so to get out of the way, which also isn't great because then you spend everything. You're like, okay, well now I'm a fight scene. All right, what do I do? Um, so, but they're fine. Oh, well, I'd much rather do 12 hours of fight scenes than 12 hours. <laughs> but I'm saying doing both in a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. I do the day, the day in heart where I had to kill Madison. I think we then did this, like her going into the closet or something. So it was a full on the scene with us in the kitchen, and then going to like, okay, now we have to block the thing where we lock her in the closet because we realize she's turning. So you're like, but I'm exhausted. Like, do we can we do it tomorrow? No, the answer is no. No, but it's, <laughs> and it's three in the morning. So drink a cup of coffee and pansy. I think it's called a tub of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about, yes, right there with the love shoe. Yeah. yeah. Um, what would be your favorite prank and against who? Well, I'm not going to tell you, and I'm not going to tell you. Fair enough. Sure. I think my favorite prank in hindsight, and just because nothing really bad happened, was pieing Misha in the face, because I'm just, I'm actually happy I didn't break his nose. All things considered, I watched But you kind of secretly wish you did a little bit. <laughs> It'd have been a better story. But watching it, it was a, and I'm not a small guy. And it was, there was some, there was some speed with that. So I'm happy that the, the whipped cream slowed the uh, trajectory of my fist and the foil plate up against it. There was whipped cream, not kidding, like 40 feet away. <laughs> which is how hard he hit him in the face. I got excited. I didn't catch his face, literally flew 40 feet past it. I think some of the stuff bounced off his face and splattered. It was like a full-on splatter. Um, all right, going again. Yes. Um, I wanted to know about how the construction and stuff in the brewery is going. Yeah. How, how old are you? The brewery is going? I'm 19. Yeah. Asking two years. <laughs> I'll come visit when I'm 21. Yeah, he's here. Where are you coming? Come visit now. We've got, we, it's not just beer. I live in like Dallas, like just north. Cool. Uh, we, are, we are good. We've had a couple soft openings already. We're, uh, we're just waiting to uh, make enough, to have enough stocked beer to open and not run out when people start, hopefully start flooding the doors. Uh, so we'll, uh, we're probably going to just spend the holidays brewing and probably open up the first of the year. But we're, we're open. We're ready to go. So, yeah. <laughs> I wish. I think, Two years. I think there's some pretty substantial if problems. If we see you there in January or February, we're on. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, uh, we're we there. Yeah, Grace Wesher. Grace Zippo. Yeah. Um, so I'm Get off your phone. <laughs> Millennials these days. Me? Okay, great. One second. <clears throat> I'm just puzzled. I'm about to take a picture with my favorites. Mm. One second. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. We're all set to hear four films. No. Okay, so if the show ends, like, give us a glimpse of what you might be doing, or, like, if creation and entertainment, like, these conventions will Did still you say if on. the show ends? Yes. Right. If. If. Yeah. Fuck that. Not when. It was if. So, like, what you guys would be doing, and if creation and entertainment, like, you'll still be doing it, like Star Trek. I mean, you know, the show's not going on. But... I've never done Star Trek. No, I'm sorry. But the convention is so happening. Have you done Star Trek? <laughs> I think, uh, here we are many years into the show, and to our, um, as being family and our, our creation and convention family. And it's been a huge reason why the show has gone on, a huge reason why it's meant so much to so many people. Uh, I would hate to see that go. Uh, so barring something horrific, uh, I hope to see you in... in uh, <laughs> Put that anywhere. In many, many years. And keep checking out. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're, we're going to be quick to run away from what we've you know, what we've helped build over the past 13 years. Uh, so, that's, uh, yeah. We're not going anywhere. Never. Never. I'm gonna go, I feel like we've avoided this because there's a bright spotlight and all I see are shadows, but I think there's a hand way back 
It's moving. Yes, I see a shadow. Yes. So it's pretty bright that way, so we're just we're like using gecko chameleon for a full vision. Gecko chameleon. Might be a premature question. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-talented. <laughs> um, it might be a premature question since. Hey, Jensen, I understand. <laughs> you've got a question. Raise your hand and wait, like the rest of them. You're biased, Jensen. That's biased. <laughs> premature question. <laughs> if you're still brewing, but do you have any plans to do like? Um, I guess if you're a club where they can be mailed every month, quarter, sure. yeah, to great. people that have <laughs> that's, that's, The problem is, is we can't distribute uh, distribute outside of uh, Texas as of right now. So right. we're gonna we'll be local, regional, and then eventually we'll have to make a deal with the distribution company. Once we get to that point, then yeah, then we'll start looking at uh, clubs and that kind of thing. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I was just a little excited. What's up? So, uh, Mark said to ask you guys what life would be like without Robin. Oh, uh, Robin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be a lot more difficult, I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah, she's had 15 breaks, obviously, and she and her husband will go take a, a week here or there. Um, and, and it's noticeable. It's noticeable, yeah. And there, and there, are, there are many Robins, um, not in Robin's job, but we, we have many people that we've become really close with, you know? Yeah. So uh, it's it's difficult. It's almost like the earlier question. I don't like thinking about life without the show or y'all or, or the Robins. Of, uh, I will say that, that she is, uh, in my opinion, there, there are two people, in my, in my opinion, that probably deserve a producer credit. Uh, no questions asked. One is Kevin Parks. Uh, just for the just for the amount of knowledge. <laughs> See, as a producer, you have to show up. I mean, I'm out. I'm out. Um, and and Robin, uh, she she has this knack for continuity, and she's like, well, you know. We used this blade to kill this thing in season four. Why doesn't it kill this thing in season 13? That doesn't make sense. And I'm like, I'll call the writers. And then I'll call the writers and be like, uh, Robin brings up a good point. They're like, tell Robin she's right, we'll fix it. <laughs> that happens That happens probably once a month. So she is, she's looking out for the show and she, it, but it's funny. It's also indicative of what, what kind of She's also like, I mean, I don't care. It's not my job. I'm just saying. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, no. Point taken. Let me get on it. But they, but our crew takes an active part in the show. It's not like they show up to do their job. And, okay, here, I hand you your watch. You hand me your wedding ring. And here's the angel blade. And here's the this. And they go home. Like, we we care about it. You yeah, know? I see the production assistants, the guys who literally, their job is to make sure the set's clean, keep taking the garbage out. Uh, if there's a spill or a glass breaks or something, they swoop in with their, you know, mops and group. I mean, they're, it's it's kind of a thankless job. I see those people sitting down reading the scripts. So, there is a... There's, there's an Vampire Diaries, but... Um, What's Vampire Diaries? Right, right, yeah, they're reading Legends of Tomorrow, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so there's, a, there's, there's really a, an active investment from a lot of the crew uh, in, in what the show is. And, and where it's going, and what it means to them, and what it means to their family. So, uh, yeah, life would be difficult without any of those people. Obviously. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> but surprisingly, not so difficult without Mark. I don't know if that's just. <laughs> Ouch! I kid, I kid. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> um, I. I have a question. As actors, you're, you're uh, trained in, in to portray things on camera, picking locks and stuff. I was wondering how much of that have you ever used in your daily life? <laughs> I, not necessarily just picking locks. But every day of my life, I act like I can do shit, but I can't. So. <laughs> 
I can vouch for that. Be a good father, be a good husband, good friend, walk and talk. Be a good person. I'm just kidding. Uh, walk and talk. As soon as I start walking, uh, uh, I would. Uh, so one of our uh, uh, one of our electrics, uh, Tyler, he uh, he had a, an invisible lock. So it's something that you can. You can uh, did you see this? I brought it with me. Invisible is not the right word. Hey, it's just an invisible lock. Did hey. you see this? <laughs> Jokes on you. It's invisible. Uh, a a clear. Oh, show me. It was a clear lock, uh, so you can see all the, mecha the, the, uh, the mechanics inside, and it's, and it's to practice picking locks. And um, so he let me. Uh, he let me have it for a few days, and I, I was working with it, trying to, you know, and it's very difficult to pick a lock, even with a lock pick set. So, we, we always joke that when we walk up and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're literally the fastest lock pickers in the world. <laughs> that it, there's no way that it would, I mean, it would take nine times that long, even if we were good at what we did. So, um, but I'm thinking about, do you start driving or something? <laughs> no. Um, what is that? You need more coffee. Okay. I'm trying to think of like what. Yeah, what 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 I've been able to what do on the show is was lookable in real life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> salty and burning bones. You know how to hold a gun properly, you know? Um, hold no. gun properly. <laughs> Drive a car? <laughs> I already knew how to drive a car. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, uh, weapon safety is something that, because uh, we, for some reason, we're always, we're either dealing with knives or guns or, or something like that. We've, we've, uh, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> so we, we understand, we've, we've been, you know, weapon safety has been kind of uh, always there and, and it's, it's kind of been hammered home. Uh, as far as the people that, you know, are the ones that give it to us. In fact, generally, if I'm sitting there, like, spinning my 1911, it's Robin that just comes over, grabs it, and goes, stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's um, a great question. I'm going to think about more. Um, right now, I don't think so. But... Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, let's see. How about right here? Okay, think way back for you to do. Um, wait, wait, we got a mic? We got a mic? Look at that. Oh. Um, going all the way back, when you guys first met each other, what did you think of each other? And, <laughs> and be honest, it's for each of you. <laughs> I think I thought, is this what this guy's wearing to a network audition? I thought, I think you had a hoodie on. You had like long hair, and I'm like, what high school? I think my first thought was, how do legs bend like that? <laughs> Did this guy park his horse up front? <laughs> you know, I think... Uh, I, I sort of knew... When I found out that he would be the one that I was... Because I found out, I'm sure you did too, it was like, hey, you're going to be with... Jared kind of like it, blah, blah, blah. I found out like, hey, it's gonna be you and Jensen Ackles reading blah, blah, blah. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I walked in, because I didn't, I thought, that, I thought I was coming in to read for, against other deans. Oh, funny. I thought there was gonna be like four or five, generally when you get to this level of the, the audition process. Well, it was with the dean. <laughs> I was able to save that name. Uh, <laughs> but I, no, I thought that I was going to come in there, there was going to be four other guys all reading, all competing for the same role. Uh, and I walked in and he was, you know, it was just this kid with floppy hair and a hoodie sitting on the couch. And I was like, I was like, hey man, and we introduced ourselves and uh, I was like, I was like, uh, are you reading, are you reading for Dean? Like, no, I'm reading for Sam. I was like, is there anybody else here? He's like, no, it's just you and me. Like, well, that's kind of weird, isn't it? And you were like, yeah, I, I don't know. 
<laughs> and then, and then I think we, we very quickly were like, where are you from? Texas? Oh, no way. I'm down on San Antonio. And so there was a very, it was a very quick... Where's your football team, Cowboys? Cowboys. <laughs> so it was, it was a very quick, and it was, I mean, we have these kinds of interactions with, with guys. We, that was a pretty frequent thing in our lives at that time because we were doing lots of auditions. We were constantly walking into waiting rooms and signing in and seeing seven other guys that are our same demographic. Um, you're, you just so learn you, the basics really quickly. Yeah, you're like, hey, where are you from? And, you know, and nobody's from, very rarely do you ever meet anybody who's actually from LA. Right. Um, so it was also, it also helps in auditions, because usually you're auditioning against you with a casting director, but if you're doing a scene with somebody against, when it's you with a person who also might be, it helps to try and build, I don't want to say chemistry, but some knowledge of each other before it's just like, you never met somebody, you don't know anything about them, you agree with them. I, to have some sense of somebody. Um, yeah, it was. It, we were pretty quick friends. I mean, I, I did find out that I was going to be re reading with you in some way, shape, or form, or meeting you or something. I remember IMD being in, and it was like a dark angel picture or something. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, how does one suck their cheeks in so much? <laughs> I remember I didn't, I knew all the stuff he had worked on, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't know him as an actor. Like, I, I'm sure he had never watched Gilmore Girls. I hadn't watched Dark Angel, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Hashtag Team Rory. She's the one we're trying to figure out who's on the team with her. It's always yeah, Team Rory, it's out of jazz. Figure that one out. <laughs> And so I, 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 I didn't know what to think. Um, we got in there and, and I was like, cool. Like, he can act, he's, he's communicating, and this will be fun. He can communicate. You get in, well, it's not a, it's not a He's like, that's me. Well, I have my back here. It's not a foregone conclusion that the people you're in the room with this know is, how to act. This a lot of times it's, this is the way I was told to deliver my mind. And if you get to something else, they're like, this is the way I was told to deliver. Like, Come on, like, let's play. It's not hitting a tennis ball against the wall. It's playing with somebody else who's going to take you places you didn't think you'd go and you know, make sure you're better. So I was like, sweet, I have fun. As nerve wracking as it is, it's a room like 30 people. They're all, that make all the decisions for the network and the studio that are about to decide, you know, what the next month of your life is going to be like uh, if you get to shoot a pilot, and in this case, the next 13 years of your life, hopefully you go on. I wonder out of those 30 executives that were in that room that day, how many still hold that job other than Peter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, I, I'm pretty sure that most of the people that, are, that were making the decision in that room aren't even in those positions. Anymore. Yeah, they've either moved up or down or sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Peter Roth, though, who was the president of uh, Warner Brothers Television, he has been there since day one and continues to be just a champion for us in the show. I wonder who in that room was secretly thinking, like, nah, this isn't going to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 